That one's so fucking fun. And just every time it comes on, I'm always like, uh, uh. <laughs> or like, ta, 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 ta. you go first. <laughs> first. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay. First. First. Hi, I'm Julia. I've been playing drums for about 14 years. Hi, I am Claire, and I've been playing drums for um, three minutes over my whole life. Not bad. Bad. As a star. Okay. Yeah. And why do you want to learn how to play drums? Because I think it will make me a better musician at my other instruments. Yeah, because you play guitar, guitar and piano. Yeah, way better. I'm just a dumb drummer. I'm just a dumb person. Okay. So I may suck at this. I'm sure I will suck at this. I'm stoked to see how we can do this. Um, well, I'll start by showing you how to hold the sticks. Okay. Uh, it looks like you're, well, that's not the way, but it looked like you were holding it really good before. Basically, I just kind of put my stick in my hand like that, and then put these three fingers around, and then if I just turn it over, it kind of drops in place and you have this opening. So if you ever s are squeezing like this or like that, that's not really the best way. Okay. You want it to be kind of loose in your hand like that. So all these three fingers are kind of flared out like that and your index finger is a little bit more out. And you can always like check yourself to see if you're like starting to squeeze. <laughs> Should it go be able to go all the way through? <laughs> um, like, like that? Like it's yeah. touching here. Yeah, yeah, I like to have a little bit of slack because if it's like all the way over here, then I can like drop the stick really easily okay. if I miss something, which happens a lot for me. But if it's um, like right there, it kind of stops it. Yeah, so if you put the sticks kind of like in an upside down V or like an A-frame and go for like the middle and give yourself some slack again because you, you want to have oh, a little oh, bit. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So that looks pretty good. So always have like that opening over here. Okay. And there's a couple different grips and um, depending on what you want to play or your style, you can change it. But basically there's kind of uh, German out here, which is super wide, uh, American kind of in the middle, and then French is parallel with your thumbs on top. The way that I think of it is power, speed. Whoa, so you kind that's of cool. you go into really hard hits from outside over here with like a molar technique, and you can go into speed here because you're using your fingers. That's cool. But basically, I start in the middle. Like this is my starting position, like right here. Okay. Um, this is where I play most of the things, and we'll probably stick to this position for the most part. Okay. Yeah. You're right-handed, right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, a lot of this stuff we'll learn, it will be right hand lead, but I'm gonna make you lead with your left hand because it's your weak hand. Basically the way that you're holding it looks good. As long as your shoulders are kind of relaxed, I always keep my feet out in front of me, kind of pointed out, because that's where your pedals are gonna be. Okay. Um, so I'll just start you with really basic stickings, just like figuring out how to control your hands and then we'll go into speed later. I'm gonna show you just how to quickly hit the pad and get a good bounce out of it. Yeah, that's what it's for. <laughs> um, so if you lift up from the wrist, try to keep your elbow and your shoulder kind of steady and just lift up and your hand kind of opens up like that. And then when you come down for the hit, your hand and your fingers will also close a bit, but you're also moving from your wrist. Yeah, next time when you do it, come up and, <laughs> and close. Let the stick bounce up just once. Don't kill the bounce like that. Let the stick bounce. Yeah, that was better. Next time, from here, try to stop it a couple inches. Yeah, that was, that was perfect. And that's okay. your left hand. Okay. Do you want to try with your right hand? So try not to squeeze there. Because what will happen if you squeeze is you'll get like a buzz. And that's a, a, just a different sound, but you want just a sharp hit. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay. So every time you hit, I want you to kind of do that. I want you to just let the stick bounce once. Don't dig into the stick and don't let it like come fly out like that. Okay. Just go for one hit. So try that with your right hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. Try with your left hand. 
I kind of uh, think of this grip like you're knocking, so your palm is always like facing the ceiling. So if you start to twist over like this, um, then you're going into a different grip. So just try to keep the back of your hand like that. So now let's try a couple patterns. I usually go with just the basic rudiments. Okay. Singles, doubles, paradiddles. So a single stroke roll is just alternating, right? right? Left, right, left, right. It's super easy, but it's like the most common thing that you'll be doing kind of around the kit if you're playing like fills and stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then also you got a <laughs> hair flip. <laughs> well, that's the most important part. Right. Um, yeah, so let's try that a little bit faster. The only thing that I see is your left hand kind of like loses position. So if you do this in front of a mirror, you'll be able to see if your hands kind of become uneven okay. and you can kind of just fix your posture or whatever. So that will be the most common thing. Like you'll, you tend to start to twist and come closer to your body. Okay. You just keep it out. So if you keep that shape, then you know you're in a, in a good position. Okay, so let's just move on to uh, the double stroke roll. Okay. Um, do you know what a double stroke roll is? I think Kay. it's da 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 da. Yeah. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah, <laughs> done. Okay. okay, moving on. I did it! <laughs> Before we go any faster though, I wanted to show you the paradiddle. Okay. So basically the paradiddle is kind of like a combination of the singles and the doubles. You start off with um, a single and then a double. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Yeah. Okay. If you can like have a conversation with me while doing that, then it's like memorized and ingrained. in yeah, ingrained in your in your muscle memory or whatever. Do you think like you have that kind of in your head? Is it like, are you thinking about it? I'm saying it in my, in my head, yeah. Yeah, so um, can you do that again and just like talk to me and tell me what you did yesterday or what you had to eat this morning? Uh, I made oatmeal this morning with peanut butter and a banana. That's what I eat every single day in my fucking life. <laughs> and I had my JJ Bean cold brew coffee at home. And on the way here, I bought a JJ Bean cold brew coffee. So I think the only reason I'm able to have a conversation and keep doing this is because I can see in my peripherals. I'm like, you're doing the same yeah. as me. Yeah, exactly. I'm mirroring you. That is a huge thing. Like it, it's so helpful to be able yeah. to follow along. So try that by yourself. You should give me a subject to talk about though, because I can't. Okay, tell me about the your goals on drums well double kick is like the main thing my favorite drum beat is uh like fast feet slow hands i fucking love the goddamn ride cymbal it's yeah. my favorite <laughs> thing ever so like double kick and a half time ride i yeah. think is like my favorite i really wanted to learn certain parts of three dsi songs uh, sacrificial suicide, serpents of the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was really good, good though. Okay. Yeah, you you like held it together for a long time until you had to really think about really something. Really thinking about the song title. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, hey. Hi. Are you oh, am I wrecking something? No, you're not oh, wrecking shit. anything. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so fucking good. Um, but those three basic patterns are kind of the fundamental of. Um, uh, all the stickings that you're going to do and some of the stickings that I'm going to show you. Okay. It's just groupings of three. Okay. So you're right-handed. We'll start with the right hand. It's two right hands and one left hand. The way that I like to do this is in um, an eighth note figure or an eighth note bar. Um, so if you do two of these and then a group of singles right at the end, it's eight eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or one and two and three and four and. So let's try it a little bit faster and then we'll reverse it. Awesome.
Awesome. Okay, do you think you can do that with the left hand? I would like to try. Yeah, I'll let you figure it out. So it's oh. exactly the same, but um, leading with the left hand. Okay. You're very coordinated. Like that's, um, I, I wouldn't always use that pattern in a like a first lesson, but you picked up everything else really really quickly. So. Um, wow. Mm. <laughs> right. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. Yeah, that yeah. one is really hard. Yeah, that that is also actually really, really good. So those basically those five patterns or the three basic patterns, singles, doubles, paradiddles, um, and then any kind of um, uneven rhythm you can come up with anything that you like mm -hmm. but things that sort of switch like that are really kind of cool because you really have to focus on them right so that kind of stuff like you like the ride that stuff if you switch um, or if you split up your hands you put your right hand on the ride and your left hand on the snare you kind of will create this really cool pattern mm -hmm. between um, a ride and a snare. Yeah, that would sound sick. And then and double just, kick uh, underneath. <laughs> okay, so I'll start off with um, just accenting in 16th notes. Okay. So you know how to count in 16th notes, right? Yeah, one E and a. Yeah, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. In a, a beat, in one beat, there's four 16th notes. Mm -hmm. So there's four possibilities of where you can accent. So you get to accent the right hand and then the left hand, back to the right hand on the end, and then the left hand on the uh. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, I think of this as like the, like a melody, right? Like mm -hmm. think of it like da 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 da. Do you want to try the two note combos? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, one e and then e and and a, uh, then the one and the a, uh, one and and then e and the a. Uh. Let's give this a fucking go. Okay. Oh, one E, two E, three E, four E, one E and two E and three E and four E and one E and a two E and three E and a four E one E and a two a three a four a one. I kept crossing it. But that's I fine. Just... That's that's good too. How'd I do? <laughs> you did amazing. Sweet. Yeah, really, really good. Like, um, it's a mixture of like beginner and super, super absorbent. Like, you picked up all the patterns really quickly, um, and your rhythm is great, and you picked up technique really well. So, I, if you just like keep going with that, I think you'll be able to get it like really quickly. Sick. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. I love coming in places where I get my horn tooted in this way. It feels great. Yeah. It was very fun. Yeah. So thank you for teaching me. You're welcome. It was such a good time. Okay. So Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>